what's up girls, it's Kiara and today I have some exciting video for y'all. So we're kind of gonna unleash our inner creativity for this one because we are gonna be doing some exciting DIY. So for those of you, for those 1% of you who don't know what DIY is, it's basically do it yourself. You're basically gonna do something creative, anything where you will have to use your creative hands. So I used to always do DIY as a kid, but I think I've already forgotten how to sew by this time, so this is gonna be interesting. And yes, we are gonna be doing a little bit of sewing for the last part of this video. Basically, we're gonna be doing a DIY corset top inspired by this, because I don't know how to pronounce it, which actually requires to have an underwire. Okay, seriously, enough of that blabber jabber. Let's get on with the video. video we're gonna have three variations of DIY. I found three pieces of clothing around my household that needs a little bit of revamping if you know what I mean. Now I'm sure you're familiar with the trends nowadays and like this corset top has literally been all over my feed nowadays. And the overall inspiration where I got this idea from is actually this big brand which I really don't know how to pronounce and Damn, it costs a lot. It's really expensive. So why not just make it at home, right? I've also watched a few other YouTube videos where I got this idea from. Especially, um, her name is Liney Ozark, if I'm not mistaken. I'm sorry if I pronounced that wrong. But I think she's really creative with what she did with her video. So I think I'm gonna recreate that for today. Okay, so for this first piece, I actually found this top. This is a vintage kind of corset that I thrifted a long time ago and I think I got this for like 50 pesos only or less because it's really a good find. I remember having this. I remember getting this and I was like really excited because this was a really good and cheap find for me that time. And so this is like a regular corset bra and it even has that... Um, like the... Yeah, the clasp. The strap. This, it even has this, and then I think it would be a really great top to renovate for this video. And I decided to just let this one go and have fun with it because the bra, the cups, are actually too small. As you can see, it literally, if I wear this again, just this, my boobs will literally just pop out. So we don't want that anywhere. This one's pretty easy. You basically just have to cut um the cup out you literally just have to cut it out and then you're good to go it, it can be used as like your belt sorry yeah whatever it can be used as just like a belt that you can just wrap around your waist and it will look fantastic um i'm pretty sure that you can i'm pretty sure that when you go to your local thrift store oh sorry the wind i'm actually outside because my sisters invaded my space inside so yay for that. Stop, you literally just have to cut the cup out. You have to have it clean or else it will be noticeable even from afar. So I think that's gonna be pretty easy. For this one, you're gonna need your handy dandy scissors and also your corset bra. So here I'm just cutting off the cups from the corset bra and I'm trying to be as close to the underwire as possible so that I get clean edges and it wouldn't look as noticeable from afar. So after cutting off one cup from the bra, I decided that we can be more sustainable and actually use this. Believe it or not, it actually fits my face and I think I can use it as a face mask. And with this, we just need to seam the edges and also apply chaps in the sides. Once you're done cutting the foam from the corset bra, you need to clean off the edges and make sure there's no hidden um, foam left in the corset bra. Here's the finished product and all you need is a pair of scissors and a corset bra that can give you that vintage look. 
Okay, so for the second one, it's fairly easy to do also. I found this um, piece of thing around my house. I don't know what it's called. I don't know if it's a lingerie or just like an inner wear. I found this. It's definitely not mine, but I'm deciding to play with it because why not? It has these big cups that we are also going to cut. So we're going to cut it clean right here. So I think the only downside of this is that it has straps and I don't like the straps in it. Like imagine you would have the underwire there and then have the straps. It would be so funny. I think we're gonna have to cut it off also and that means we're gonna have to cut off this part also. The only thing that's holding me back from cutting it actually is that it might roll backwards and shrink if you know what I mean. The material of this is actually kind of silky but it might roll backwards. I do suggest though that if you're gonna try this one out, I watched Lainey Ozark's video and she tried it out in a knitted fabric and I think that would be a really cool idea. Although I just don't have that kind of fabric in my house, I can't find it anywhere. So this second one is kind of like the first one also. You just have to cut off the cups from the corset bra and reveal the underwire. I'm just gonna fast forward it from here so it's not taking too long. Here we have the pads removed and this is the problem that I was talking about earlier and it's about the straps. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna cut off the foam from the straps and leave the straps because actually I think it's more secure that way. And now we have these two long tails at the back and I'm just gonna tie them together so it looks a little bit better and I promise you I'm gonna get it together and actually make it look nicer in some time. If you have any suggestions on what I should do with the tail, please do so in the comment section below. Okay, I know, so the back's a little bit messy, so that's why I need suggestions on what to do with it. But I feel like overall, the product is actually nice and it's really easy to make. Okay, so here comes the tricky part. This last part is actually kind of similar to the other videos that I've watched. And it requires three items. So the first item that you would need for this video and is actually a requirement for this part is to have an old bra. Okay, this is really embarrassing. Like, yes, this was my old bra. <laughs> anyway, it's really deformed as you can see and this is why I picked this to destroy. Basically because it's already destroyed. And then the next thing that you're gonna have to need is a piece of fabric where you're actually going to sew your underwire onto. I found this really cool piece of fabric. This is actually thrifted also. I, I bought this in the same thrift store as I bought this one and I think it's a really nice find in a thrift store. This is a very sophisticated kind of snake print style that I would always want to use over a jacket or anything. Last piece is the actual top that you would need for your base. This is my Forever 21 tank top. It's just a basic white tank top. Kaya po maingay kasi nag workout siya. Okay, so here I'm just removing the straps of the bra and just keeping the middle part. We also need to remove the cups of the bra, but make sure to leave just a little bit of foam so that the needle will have something to grab onto later on when we sew. Then grab your fabric and cut straight from the chest so we can remove the straps. After that, we need to turn the fabric inside out and also the underwire so that it's kind of like face to face with each other. Now I'm just grabbing my pins and pinning them in place. So here I'm just sewing where I pinned 
but I try to make it less noticeable in front and just really try to hide threads as much as possible. So now I'm done sewing the underwire to the fabric and I actually also cut fabric around the underwire but I made sure to leave one inch so that we have a little bit of fabric to cover the underwire. So here is the finished product. I just turned it inside out. I know it's a little bit big but I don't have a proper sewing machine with me or elastic to make it more fitted so I'm just gonna leave it like this for now. Even if it's a little bit loose, I think the fit is still great and it's best partnered with high-waisted pants or any bottoms that is high-waisted. And that's it guys! You have your own wonderful DIY corset top inspired by a very big brand that's actually super expensive. The good thing about this is that we found all of these pieces in the thrift store or just lying around the house and it cost us zero pesos. We love sustainability in this channel. How are you going to be a corset? Just but we believe I just want to say sorry if I didn't get to explain things properly because I don't know how to sew and I don't have a proper sewing machine. I don't have a proper sewing machine in this video. So just bear with me. But you do get the gist. If you have other comments or suggestions for amateurs like me, then please do so in the comments down below. And I would really appreciate that. Make sure to like and subscribe for more content like this. And if you want, we can keep touch and you can find my social media in the description box below. That's all for now and see you in my next video. <laughs> That's all for now and see you in my next video. Bye! Hey y'all! So later, watch out for our vlog tandem! For the unboxing, <laughs> unboxing <laughs> of our Bai haul. Tune in. See you on the